What's up everybody, it is Kayla here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here of course to take you through my summer curly hair routine, the routine that I do about every two to three days. Um, I'm going to show you how to achieve this super cute look that we are looking at right now here in the pictures. And I know that all my curly head girls experience this problem right here where taking your hair out of the bun and you're like, this is not what I need it to be. So what do we do? We go to our wash and go. Um, so I start with hopping in the shower and you know giving my hair a really, really good rinse. And then I use my Pureology Hydrate, con um, not conditioner, shampoo. Get a good bit of that and I lather that through my hair. Um, I usually, for my shampoo, try to focus on the roots. So I apply it mostly to my roots, to my scalp. Um, really get a good scrub, get deep in there, um, get all that dry dead skin off of my scalp. And then after I do that, I rinse it out really, really well. So our shampoo, we definitely want to make sure, make sure that we rinse it out very, very well so we don't have anything left over. Um, after that, I get my conditioner. So I use Diva Curl, um, the original. It's not that expensive and it's super lightweight and it definitely does the job. Um, so I lather that through my hair. Now with my conditioner, I like to focus on the ends. So I put a lot at the ends. I get a little bit more and then I run that through the top and my roots. And then what I'm going to do here is part my hair in half. I'm going to put the top half in a bun. So we'll save that part for later. Grab some more conditioner and I'm going to rub this conditioner through the bottom half of my hair. So again, I'm focusing on the roots. And then I'm going to part this half again. So eventually we're going to end up um, having four parts here in my hair. Um, this is just to make sure we really get that conditioner through. So that right there, that's the key, that's the secret, a wet brush. So I like to rub, run my um, conditioner through my hair really well by combing it and brushing it through. So part my hair, grab my dry brush, and I run, not the dry brush, I said dry brush. I, I run the wet brush through my hair. Um, and since that's really the only way that I can brush my hair is in the shower. Um, I can't brush it any other time of the day other than in the shower. So um, I take advantage of that. Um, and after that, now we're at the top half that we put up earlier. I'm putting some more conditioner in there because the top half didn't get extra conditioner. Um, I'm definitely heavy with the conditioner. And again, I run that wet brush through my hair to get out all the tangles and now I'm taking out that last part of my hair I ran a little bit more conditioner through that as well and again getting out all of the tangles all the knots um, so the conditioner helps of course with getting those knots out after I have brushed out my hair got all the knots out ran the conditioner through very well put my hair in a nice little bun to let the conditioner sit in there and then while the conditioner is sitting I actually wash myself so I'm gonna wash my whole entire body after I wash my whole body it takes about five ten minutes then I take out the bun the conditioner has been sitting in there for a while now and now I rinse it out now me I personally I don't rinse all of the conditioner out I leave a little bit in throw my hair up into a towel wrap it and let it dry for a little bit while I do my makeup. So I go do my makeup, then I use my Shea Moisture. It's not technically a leave-in conditioner. I use their real conditioner as a leave-in, but it's super light, so I love it. Um, I hate the leave-in conditioners that leave your hair super like stiff, crunchy, heavy feeling. I like my hair to pretty much look and move and feel like it has nothing in it. So I don't put a lot in it after. Um, so yeah, get a good bit of that Shea Moisture Conditioner and I run it through my hair. I usually do only about one little squirt of this stuff. Again, I don't want it to be too heavy, so run that through. And then I kind of scrunch my hair with my fingers to get um, 
the curls to be a little bit tighter. And now I'm going to style my hair. So I style it kind of how I want, place it where I want. Um, yeah, once I get it how I want. The last piece that I love to do, I do almost every day, is I get my clear ice edge control. And I like to slick down the left side of my hair. It just gives my hair a little bit of more of like a tame look. Like, okay, I actually did my hair today, guys. Um, so, yeah. I put a little bit of that. Slick it down with my brush. And, yeah. Put it right behind my ear. That's just personally what I like. You don't have to do that, of course. And, yeah. I'm actually done. I don't actually do that much. I don't use that much. I use, what, three or four products. Um, I'm pretty simple, but it works for me. So here is a look at the products again, the Shea Moisture. Like I said, that wet brush is absolute key. Like if you have curly hair and you have don't have a wet brush, then get it. Um, so yeah, the Pure Allergy Shampoo, then the Diva Curl One Condition, the original. Again, get sulfate free for all my curly hair girls. That is the key. Um, the clear ice edge control. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that helped.